one of the most common questions I get from empaths is how to deal with relationships. And I believe I've talked about this in other audios, and I have one coming up that's going to be a little more specific. But this, in this audio, it's going to be a short audio. I just want to talk about one really powerful technique that I find works really well. And it's just a quick thing to go to with any relationship that you are in, especially if you're an emotional empath or clairsentient and you've tended, you've had past tendencies to be in codependent relationships. Obviously, the number one most important thing is always to do self-healing and check in with you, check in with yourself. But because when you enter into a relationship with unhealed wounds, as we've talked about in other audios, you will often we often naturally will ha- seek to have that other person heal our wounds and vice versa. And most many empaths deepest wound is that they feel unworthy and unvaluable, like un- not worthy of love and not valuable. So they get their value from being what other people need and from being from being there for people. And so that's often what will cause an, a codependent relationship with empaths. But if, if you've ever, if you're an empath, you've probably at one point in your life been in a really intense relationship, whether a friendship or a romantic relationship, where you've been so entangled with that person that no matter how much you try, you feel like you, it's just, it's, it's too painful to even get out of, to, un, it's too, it hurt, almost like physically hurts to try to undo the, the knot that you guys have tied together, so, and I've been through this, um, it was actually one, I've, this has happened, it used to happen all the time when I was younger, um, and it took me a, a long time to really figure out how to not do that. And now, because I've practiced for so long, I can, I can sense if that's even coming. So this is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about two things really quick. One is being preemptive, which is the number one thing, I, I believe, in any relationship you begin. Any, any person, any person who comes into your experience, whether it's a friend, whether it's an acquaintance, whether it's a potential romantic endeavor, always pay attention to how you feel immediately with that person and continue to pay attention as it progresses. Ask yourself if you're feeling, if you feel that, and I think most empaths can recognize this when it won't be, it won't be everyone you meet, but occasionally there'll just be that one person, whether it's a male or female, it seems not to matter, that will just make you feel like you have worth. And not very many people can do that. Make you feel like you have worth in a whole different way. Or you love being what they need you to be. It fulfills you in a way that feels so good that you feel like you would do anything for them. And I don't think this is the same thing as falling in love because this is a very common thing with empaths. I think if that feeling arises for you when you meet somebody, the most preemptive thing you can do to avoid deep pain that can often happen as a result of entering into that energy stream and sort of giving your power to them is pulling out of it, immediately going within and noticing where in your body you feel that pull towards them and then asking your guides to come in or asking your, your higher self or just sending light, whatever, you, whatever feels good to you, to come in and fill you up with unconditional love for yourself and for a sense of worth. And ask the universe specifically to show you other people, like other situations that will mirror back to you how you are valuable in that particular area in which you feel pulled to that person. For example, for me, when that happens to me, I usually feel it in my power chakra. And I think it's usually because my wound, many of my wounds have been um, in that area. So if someone sparks that in me, what ha- I'll feel a tug in my power chakra, and it's a tug to give my power to them because it, it'll, it, I, I think it'll make me feel good to give it to them because I want to, because I know how much they, I, or I think I know 
how much they need me or how much I can do for them and how good it will feel to them. So therefore, it'll feel great to me because I'll feel powerful by being able to help them. So again, it's it's my power chakra knowing and needing and sensing that it needs to be healed and wanting to be healed, but it wants to give its power away to do that. It wants, it's, in other words, it's almost like trying to enter into that person's power chakra so that it can feel their power. So I notice where it's coming from. I immediately will try to, you know, again, like I talked about in other videos, ask questions about it, where it comes, where the wound comes from, where that energy is coming from, what I, and then what else I can do to fill up that. In other words, I, now I look at it as this is an awesome opportunity for me to continue my healing, to further heal this chakra. So I will ask the universe to, to specifically reveal to me healthy ways, I don't even love the word healthy because it implies, it, I don't know, better ways, I guess, or just ways that make me feel more empowered, I like that, in healing that chakra. And the universe will always do it. It'll always respond to that. But I, the, the draw can be intense, especially when you haven't gotten used to being able to healing yourself and being able to catch that. If you get to the point where you are incredibly entangled, it's so, I don't even know how to give, I mean, like I said, I'm going to go into other videos about how to deal with this, but it's so difficult, and I know because I've been there, and I've worked with many empaths who, who are in it, and it's it's so hard to get untangled once you've deeply wound yourself up in somebody, especially as an empath, because you you share their electromagnetic field at that point. So when they're away from you, it can physically hurt. And this can happen even if it's not a romantic relationship, by the way. This happens in friendships all the time with empaths. It's kind of like, in my experience anyway, it's kind of like ripping a Band-Aid off when it, you know, when it, it, it hurts a ton, especially if there's a, a wound there. But when you're that deeply entangled, I have found the only healing, the only way to truly heal it is to remove it. You, you just have to remo remove it and then regrow that layer. Not, I don't want to say protective layer, but the, the regrow the heart space, your electromagnetic field, reharmonize with your own energy so that you're not feeding off of them. It can actually be very van like vampire-ish to do that. And you do it to each other. Usually when those interactions happen, it's a mutual thing. So you're mutually feeding off each other. Even though in reality you can't really do that because you're always being fed from your source stream, but you're you are perceiving it as if that person is giving you what you need, and so therefore your your perspective is skewed, and it it can be so painful. So again, I I will actually tomorrow I will post the vid and another audio on like very specific tips on how to deal with that. But if you're in it right now, my tip that I'm giving in this moment is just to remove it. I mean, it's the only thing you can really do. And how to remove it, I'm going to be talking about that tomorrow. So hope you guys are well and hope you guys are enjoying this challenge. I'm sorry that there's been days that it hasn't been posted. It's because I've been traveling so much, but I'm sending these all out in an email. So hopefully you'll all get them. If you have any questions or if you haven't received the workbook or you, you just are interested in signing up for the empowering empathic abilities, not empowering empathic abilities, the, um, the Art of Empathic Shapeshifting class. It starts in two days on the 21st. So just send me an email if you have any questions or you're interested. And um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Ciao.